Today, I'm far from home, but the way I see it, my backpack is my temporary home, and it moves with me at about 25 kilometers each day. For the past dozen years, I've been a nomad. Coming into another's homeland, I'm keen to explore what that actually means as an outsider passing through. Since setting foot in the Middle Kingdom, I've been following the Hu Line. It's an imaginary boundary that divides East and West China, and it'll steer me some 6,000 kilometers across 10 provinces. Now it's brought me into the Luliang mountain range of Shanxi, and I'm somewhat taken aback. Until three days ago, I didn't know that the Luliang mountain range even existed right because we're we're planning like one day ahead at the most and then this weather came in from siberia and it suddenly turned from springtime back into winter for me this is like walking back in time it's very unexpected and very beautiful and lovely as a surprise Walking alongside me for almost two months now is Liu Lifong, who has become dear as family. She was recommended to me eight years ago when I was in the Caucasus. And if somebody's reputation travels that far, you know that she's a pretty special person. I mean, she's been traveling around the world. She knows how the world works. She knows how China works. We're going down to this valley. And we'll walk. Villages. There will be villages in one kilometer, and then there will be one after another. But not even Li Fong could have anticipated the snowstorm that is looming. We are ill-equipped and must find shelter before nightfall. Li Hulin and Chen Tanshuan found each other through a village matchmaker some 40 years ago. They live in a cave house where they work to raise cows every single day from sunrise to sunset. They were very friendly. And because of my own background, when I was in my 20s and 30s, I also worked with cows as a cowboy. And we were able to kind of exchange um, stories about keeping cows. And they had about 90 cows, which is pretty big. For millennia, China had an agricultural civilization that valued family, clan, and the social connections formed through farming. The concept of home was very much attached to the land. A plot of earth watered with sweat, and soil became a shelter from whatever changes the world outside might bring. He's going to make some noodles for us. <laughs> you're, you're like a like like a perpetual motion. Oh. I've never seen her sit down since I met her. Tell her that her daily life makes walking across China look very easy. <laughs> we found ourselves at ease, as if we were relatives or longtime neighbors. The couple's warmth made a home for us. We felt included. We really want to thank her for accepting us yesterday evening. Mm. Um, she could have easily said, you know, we're too mm. busy. And we really, mm. she, she gave us her stories and cooking and, and a, a, a warm place to sleep. Thank you very much. We're getting ready to pack up. Yes. 
As we depart, I can't help but think about the dizzying China beyond these farmhouse walls. There is no country that I have been in in my life that is transforming itself as fast um, physically, in terms of the physical.